All right. Hi, guys. I'm back again. All right. So hopefully you already heard the story of Duck Rabbit. Duck Rabbit. Okay. And in that story, hmm, the two characters, you really couldn't see the people who were talking or telling the story, but the author wanted us to see that there were two people talking, right? Two people talking in that story. Somebody thought that this was a duck and somebody thought that it was a rabbit. And it's kind of hard to tell, huh? So what we're gonna be doing today, you're going to write to tell me why you think it is a duck or why you think it is a rabbit, all right? And the word we're gonna probably be using is the word because, because when I am writing, I can say it is a duck because ducks have beaks. Or I can say, nope, it is a rabbit because rabbits have long ears, okay? So that could be one of our words to help us explain or give our reason why we think it is a duck or a rabbit. So let's see, duck, because hmm, we can use our word, right? Duck, we're going to be using that. Oh, and look, I write the word duck. D, uck, duck has the uh in the middle. Oh, and rabbit. Oh, rabbit. Look, it has an R. We were practicing R with our handwriting today. Rabbit. Rabbit. All right. So in your journal, okay, I'm going to use the marker because sometimes my pen, it's hard to see. Okay. But always in our notebook, we always put our date at the top. So four. And today is the 15th day of April. Whoa. Uh-oh, I went over the whole 2020, all right? And when we are doing our writing, we make a line all the way across. The top is for our drawing, right? And the bottom is for our writing, okay? So up here, I can draw. I can draw this, okay? And I can color it to show how it can be a rabbit or how it can be a duck. And if you want to draw the rest of the body, you can, just like they were thinking about in the book, right? Okay, but we're going to also write why, we think. Maybe I might start with it, telling me what I think it is. It, gotta leave a space, is a, I put a blank because I want you to write the word duck or rabbit. It is a rabbit. And then you're going to write now two or three things to tell me why you think it is a rabbit or it is a duck. So tell me two or three things to convince me, help me change my mind to see that it is a duck. Okay. And don't forget when we are writing in our notebook, we can use two spaces, right? We've got the top space. Then this is the middle space, like the middle line, where our lowercase letters start, and the bottom. So when we're writing in our notebook, we could still use two of the spaces, just like if we were writing on our handwriting paper. All right? And so like I said before, I really like the writing some of you guys are doing, but I need everybody to send me a picture and show me your writing, because I want to see the good job that you are doing. All right, writing, because we really need to practice writing. That's very important, very important for first grade too, right? So I look forward to see if you guys can convince me if you see a rabbit or if you see a duck. All right, okay, well, I'll get to you next time. <laughs> Bye.